Uh, she got ready early this morning and was one of the first people through the doors at sunny Hampton Lido. Um, and uh, Nazanin, you haven't got in the pool just yet, but it seems temperatures in the south will mean that uh, you might well be uh, bombing into that water by the time 10 o'clock comes this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I might do, you never know, but uh, not on camera. Uh, so, yes, I am at the Hampton Pool here this morning, and uh, there are already a lot of people here, and it's no surprise, really, because temperatures are already up into the 20s, and they're set to get higher today. And as you mentioned, we could see temperatures up to uh, 34 degrees Celsius. That would make it the uh, highest June temperature in over 40 years. So, as I said, lots of people enjoying the uh, swimming pool here today, and uh, one person that is joining us this morning is a uh, lovely Stuart here the uh, director of the board at Hampton Pool. Uh, Stuart tell me have you been enjoying the sunshine this morning and the last few oh, days? Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. I mean it's, it's, it's perfect. Right, this in Hampton Pool is a perfect place to be over but it's perfect I mean I have to say I swim every day so, so rain, sun, shine, snow, you're, you're, so I you enjoy were, it. You were telling me that actually it's very popular uh, on Christmas Day for people to come Christmas down Christmas Day well. yes we get uh, we reckon to get uh, 15, 60, 100 people here on Christmas morning between 8 and uh, uh, 12, 1, 1 o'clock there we finish, yes. But so it has very... been more popular thanks to the uh, recent hot spell over the oh, last the, few yeah, days. Oh, well, yes. Listen, the open air swimming pool, sun shines, you don't have to bark, you don't have to advertise it or do any marketing, people just come. It's been packed, absolutely heaving here last few sometimes, yeah. So, uh, as always the way, it's always uh, the way. Absolutely. And so you're enjoying the day today uh, in the sunshine, in the pool here. Um, but it is set to get cooler throughout the week and there may be some rain. Will you still be coming yep, here? Say, I come every day, so yes, it don't feel like stop me. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to stop you now. You better get back on, on those laps. I counted, you did about nine only. Yeah, you, well, I know, but I'm just talking. You were going to do about 50 this yeah, morning, yes, so you I better know. get to it. I'll okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> so there you go, Stuart's back him to do his laps there in the pool. Uh, I might join him later as temperatures are on the up and I'll have the full details for you uh, in a few minutes time near the uh, half past of the hour. And if you do Naz, I do expect 50 lengths. Got to keep up with Stuart. Uh, right, uh, weather is lovely here. It's not too bad here at Westminster either today. Uh, things heating up weather-wise and politically. Uh well, for today, we are going to see plenty of sunshine across England and Wales, where it could be a hot day. In fact, the highest June temperature since 1976 is possible, but elsewhere, it will be cooler, fresher and wetter. <laughs> While gentle winds cool Europe, an air of hospitality rolls through Bali. So we're looking at plenty of sunshine for today across England and Wales, but for parts of northern England, Scotland and Ireland, it will be uh, cooler in comparison with cloudier skies and spells of rain that will be thundery at times and torrential downpours are likely. Currently, we're seeing mainly dry conditions across the majority of England and Wales this morning. It's already very warm, particularly across uh, southern areas, and we could see temperatures later this afternoon locally get up to 34 degrees Celsius. If we get up to that to value, then it will be the highest... June temperature in over 40 years. But it looks like elsewhere it will be a cooler and fresher feel to things. Uh, welcome news for some of us who cannot stand the heat at the moment. So across parts of Scotland, uh, Northern England, Northern Ireland and the Republic, temperatures will be lower. Still quite warm across the northwest of these areas though, but the northeast will feel fresher with onshore breezes there. We're seeing spells of rain across Ireland and Scotland. They're spreading eastwards and some torrential downpours are likely through today with lightning, hail and uh, also gusty winds spreading eastwards.